Welcome to Monash University, Clayton campus, here in Melbourne. Today we're off to the Arts Faculty to interview Danny Edwards, a recent graduate from the Centre of Human Bioethics. Bioethics as a discipline asks a series of very interesting questions. Things like, should uh, donors be remunerated for donating organs? Um, should, which conditions uh, should we test for in human embryos? Um, how should the pharmaceutical industry be regulated? These sorts of things. And bioethics sort of gives you a toolbox for breaking down those questions into their component parts and understanding why different people with different ideologies have sort of different responses to those questions. I had sort of gone back um, into full-time work, was sort of muddling along in a job that I wasn't particularly satisfied with. And I decided to come back and do a master's um, at Monash and was attracted by the prospect of having uh, Justin as my supervisor because he had been um, my teacher at um, the graduate level. I found the master's degree incredibly sort of flexible in that I was able to fit it around um, my day-to-day -day work and also it sort of gave me a stepping stone into making a bit of a career change. There were various opportunities that I could see were only available at Monash in terms of being able to apply for the internship at WHO. But also, um, following that internship, I didn't come back to Melbourne. Um, I went on to the UK, and Monash has strong links with universities in the UK, such as um, Queen Mary's and a very respected bioethicist, um, Richard Ashcroft. And Justin was able to link me up with Richard, and so I could continue um, studying remotely and had the benefit of two supervisors. I really wanted um, to move in a practical direction and think, well, you know, how can I take these ideas and use them um, in government or in regulation um, to sort of have a positive impact on the world? I'm a policy manager at the um, Human Fertilization and Embryology Authority. Um, and what we do is regulate um, IVF and research on human embryos. So what bioethics has brought to that role is um, the ability to understand sort of very different opposing points of view. It allows me to sort of analyse a point of view, figure out whether or not um, they're being rationally inconsistent or sort of understand um, why someone might think a, a certain thing. And it sort of really allowed me to sort of have conversations with quite a broad range of people um, and achieve some sort of, sort of consensus on some sort of particularly difficult issues. And certainly my experience at uh, Monash was that many um, sort of medics and scientists who are sort of post-experience will come back and study bioethics because they realise in their day-to-day -day life they're coming up against these sort of thorny questions that science sort of doesn't really provide any answers for. Science is sort of like a tool for answering sort of, sort of discrete questions about whether or not something can be done, but it doesn't sort of answer the question of whether or not it should be done or what people think about whether or not it should be done. So I certainly think that scientists and medics have a lot of respect for the field of bioethics. When the right topic comes up, I'd like to come back and do a PhD, and I'd like that to be at Monash as well, because I know the quality of, um, quality of teaching here is, is world class. And I'd probably like to get involved in sort of management and health policy and sort of move maybe slightly beyond policy and into sort of broader sort of program management.